Well, the uh, forecasted rock bottom temperatures are leading to some rock bottom ticket prices to Saturday's Chiefs game in Kansas City. Ticketmaster lists some of the tickets for as little as $60, and it's cheap yeah. enough to tempt fans into braving what could be the coldest game in NFL history. People going do need to bundle up in case since Derek Lytle talked to a Chiefs super fan with experience watching games from an ice cold Arrowhead Stadium. Jeff, Julia, Chiefs fan of the year, Kelly Kennedy, has been a season ticket holder for 29 seasons. He says there's no chance the weather will keep him and his crew away from Arrowhead this Saturday. He shared some tips and tricks with me on how to keep warm for four quarters. Kelly Kennedy and his friend Steve Crum are no strangers to the ice-cold Arrowhead Stadium. They know how to stay as warm as possible. Crum says his strategy begins before he even enters the stadium. Layer up and before you go into the game, make sure you don't have all your layers on because if you do, by the time you get up there, you're going to be cold. Try to leave a couple of layers off, layer up at the end of your tailgate. Crum says he wears about seven layers. Kennedy also bundles up. My chief's coat. Using a heated jacket and a hand pouch, just like the players on his favorite team. Once you're inside, Kennedy says to stay active. Keep moving even if it's just moving your feet in place and, and keeping the blood flowing. And my eyebrows and eyelashes froze. And you wipe your face, you know, and there's ice crystals on your gloves. And, and so we just had to keep, had to keep moving. And Another tip from these seasoned pros, think outside the box, or in this case, a cardboard box. Take a piece of cardboard in so we can stand on it. So it's between our feet and the, the snow or the cement that holds that cold in there. They don't like to miss a snap, but Kennedy says restroom breaks, even if you don't need to go, come in handy. We don't leave our seats very often. Um, the bathrooms are warmer and, and uh, there's a lot of people that go and, and stand in the bathrooms to, to get that heat. And Kennedy says if you plan on grabbing a cold one, you might want to drink it fast. Guy came down with, a, with an alcohol beverage from the concession stand and straight from the concession stand to his seat and his, his drink was slush. <laughs> Kennedy and Crum told me they have the Arrowhead Express bus out for tailgating and encourage anyone attending the game to stop by, say hello and get warm. A Chiefs rep told me they will have nine warming stations within the stadium and warming trailers available to use in the lots for tailgating. Yeah, please visit the fellas in the bus. And, and I guess if you're going to have a slush beer, you might want to bring a spoon, <laughs> too. That would be advice. Uh, so I am going to the game. You and are. I think I am in a, in a little over my head. So if you see me out there like the Michelin man, the kid from A Christmas <laughs> no Story, right? He can't lower his arms. No one should <laughs> see you. You should be so layered up that nobody is going to recognize who and you are. Apparently not even your no. eyebrows no, you or your eyelashes. Yeah, you got to cover your eyes, too. You just got to wrap a blanket around your face. Just hoping for a Chiefs win yeah, on Saturday. <laughs> All right, uh, Derek.